Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. For those who have played mobile gaming, it should not come as a surprise that your progress and growth can be improved from buying in-game bundles. Nearly all widely recognized mobile games, this being State of Survival, Top War, Rise of Kingdoms and many other sell in-game bundles. War and Order is no different with various in-game bundles and offers for lords to get stronger. However, when someone is new to War and Order, the most common question I do get is what bundles should I buy? What bundles provide the best value for money? So in today's video I would like to share with you the top 10 best value for money bundles that you could purchase. Whilst I do not advocate you to spend monies if you cannot afford it, and if you do choose to spend your monies, then this is the better path to maximize your rewards. If you do like my videos, please do subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. If you want to make an impact in the game, then your first purchase must be the Eternal Golden Hammer. This will unlock a second construction slot, allowing you to upgrade two buildings simultaneously. It is important to upgrade your castle as soon as you can to level 16, and the second construction slot is not only key for this. Later on when you look to achieve castle level 22, 26 or 30, and the purchase of the Eternal Golden Hammer will continue to be rewarding as you grow. My second recommendation would be the Growth Fund. As you grow your castle to level 25 in the first month, you will be rewarded with 82,500 gems in total. This will be a one-time only offer. There are times when it is cheaper to spend gems to upgrade your buildings in comparison to using your speed ups. So this pack is truly rewarding in the long run. If you were buy the Glimmering Gems pack, for £7.49 pence you will only receive 8,400 gems. Whereas for a one time of £10.49 pence, you are getting nearly 10 times more gems. As most seasoned members of the War and Order community are aware, resources are pretty hard to come by. Thus, anything that will reduce the cost of resources to upgrade buildings or train troops are seen as precious. Therefore, my third recommendation is the purchase the Supreme Monthly Card Pack. This pack will reduce the cost of resources that you would require when upgrading your buildings by 1 million food, 1 million wood, 60,000 stones and 20,000 irons. Not only that, but you will receive a daily reward of 1,000 gems, 25 minutes of general speed ups and 20 stamina potions. There are also other benefits that you will get, so this is truly one of the best packs that you can buy. I previously explained in a previous video why any beginners or experienced players alike should always consider these three packs. If you want to know more, you can check out this video in the link above or alternatively, I've added the link in the description below. When you begin your journey in War and Order, there are some special one-time only discounted packs. For example, this is the New Lord Discount Building Pack. So these time-limited special packs are my fourth recommendation. To supersize your growth, these are good value for money. You can choose to buy it and keep them, to be used during events. Alternatively, if you prefer to grow the levels of your castle faster, then these packs are truly great. Separately, there will be many time-limited packs, typically last for several hours when you achieve certain castle levels. These are very good value for money. Yes, you have to spend your monies, but the smart players tend to get them and keep them to be used in selected events. In addition to this, there are special newbie value deal fast development packs, which are the fifth proposed on my top 10 list. These are limited purchase for new lords joining the realm on their journey growing their new castles and can only be purchased one time. They will not reappear again after the one-time purchase of the respective levels. My recommendation for the sixth choice would be the Glimmering Gems Pack Level 1. Gems are like one of your main common currency in this game. You will always need gems. Yes you can mine for gems but the quantity if never going to be enough. So if you can push your boat out and grab the level 1, Glimmering Gems pack, I would highly recommend you to do so. Next, I'll focus on a few packs that will help you focus on improving your battle stats. In War and Order, for most new beginners, there are many things that you could spend your monies. However, I would recommend to avoid these normal set of packs, as unless you are truly desperate. You should focus your precious monies to the daily specials, weekly specials, monthly specials limited and custom packs. Now, there are three key areas that will help with your battle stats. These are by leveling up and growing your beast, upgrading your artifacts and leveling up your star palace. I'm sure some of the more experienced folks will tell me there are more. However, for now I will ask you to focus on these packs. In daily, grab yourself the purple fragment level 1. The purple fragment will be used to upgrade your artifacts. 
This pack offers you to exchange the fragment to any purple material of your choice. Focusing on a type of purple artifact, in my situation I focused on the Ganjiang and Moya, will help the advantages in the long run. Then for number 8, would be another pack to boost your artifact. This pack is also called the Purple Fragment Level 1, however it is specifically for Ganjiang and Moya. There another similar pack for Joyous, but since I prefer the Ganjiang and Moya artifact, I will pick this. However, if you prefer the artifact Joyous, then pick that over the Ganjiang and Moya Purple Fragment pack. In conclusion you only need one, not both. Next we move on to the Beast. You need to use these Beast pills to level up your Beast. The game mechanics do provide you with a substantial amount of this throughout the time. However, what is more important is the Beast skills. To level up your Beast skills you will need the Beast skills XP scrolls. So for number 9, I would recommend that you purchase the Beast skills fortification level 1. It will appear under the daily specials. During the month, another similar one will appear under the monthly special called Time Limited Pack, Beast Boost Pack level 1. For most of these packs, stick to level 1, and if you can afford it push to level 2 and sit tight. Anymore, it will give you a diminishing rate of return. Then finally we come to number 10. My final recommendation would be the custom pack. Currently the custom pack on offer is the Zodiac Evolution, which is where you would obtain birthstones to be used in the Star Palace. These custom pack do offer good bang for your buck. Anytime you see the custom pack, you should definitely bag them as they are the best value for money and offers good deal for rare items. Previously I had the custom pack for artifacts and now the Zodiac Evolution. There might be others but I don't remember. I tend to grab the bronze, silver and gold chest. Well folks. We come to the end of another video. I hope you find this helpful and if you do, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notifications bell for more amazing videos.